Remember, folks, I'm just a Muppet in a chair. Don't take me seriously. Hey there, Boomerizzles. What's going on? Hope you like the new intro. Um, I created that more for uh, the crazies. You know, because look, I'm just a guy in a chair. If I say something that's wrong or, you know, is not the correct piece of information, feel free to correct me. But, uh, you know, please be calm when you do it. You know, I was looking at, uh, I opened up the comment section for the first time in a while. And I saw it was the uh, reaction to Shaun of the Dead and, you know, that funny uh, bullet uh, thing that everybody was laughing about. One guy chimed in and said, this is the most blatant form of disinformation I've ever seen. Uh, okay, Adolf, calm down. You know, hate to see what you talk about politics. Probably call for the execution of the entire opposition. But uh, anyway, remember, I'm just a guy in a chair. You know, if I say something that's wrong, feel free to correct me. But please do so in a calm manner without, um, you know, lighting your asshole on fire. Uh, anyway, this is a man down reaction. We're getting back into that. I uh, hope everybody's having a good time. This is uh, episode four. What is it called? Guru. So it should be interesting. Um, I've missed man down, so I'm excited to get back into this one. All right. So you lovely Muppeteers, remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And uh, here we go. Let's check it out, folks. Right, Tommy, uh, before you start, Karen, I know I'm late. What's going on? Why are you all sitting like this? You, you've got visitors, sir. Mr. Davis. Uh-oh. Mr. and Mrs. Elliston are thinking of transferring their daughter to the school, and she loves drama, so we thought we'd pop in. <laughs> what was that face? Welcome. So. <laughs> He's, about... He's about to do something crazy, man. I can already tell. Good morning, everyone. Right. Are you uh, wearing slippers? Yes. Yes, I am. No. Why are you wearing slippers? It doesn't matter. Is it someone to do the space mission, sir? No. But surely slippers would make it difficult to get a sufficient purchase on the space rock. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this is starting off really good. Thank you. It's got nothing to do with space mission, everyone. It's a little incident with my neighbour's cat and my shoes. Did it poo in them? It was just a wee, but it's an old cat, so it properly stinks. So where were we with the lesson? Dennis reckoned he could kick an alien's nutsack off, sir. We don't talk about things like that in here. Oh, we do. Often. Yes, and I've said you can't kick anything's nutsack off and that's the end of it. You can, sir! My uncle kicked the pigs off! Jesus, did he? Yeah, he tried to bite him. Yeah, well, they don't like being cornered, do they, guys? Pigs do not like being cornered. Oh, now, focus. What's happening with the lesson? You said we'd meet the alien lizard king this lesson. Did you forget? <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, I love this uh, intro to the show, man. Oh. These parents are horrified. Fuck it. I hope he doesn't get fired. Yo, there needs to be more of him teaching this class in the show. I think it's only been like uh, the ver the first episode when they did it for more than like 30 seconds. Hello. Oh my God. Let's dance, people.
Oh, God, that hurt my head. I've never seen you eat, Brian. Too early for that. So weird. Mm. Shakira, could I have a little pepper? Fuck off. <laughs> First. Okay. Oh. Excuse me one second. I spilled my blue goo on the floor. Holy shit. All right. Rewind a little bit. All I heard was the fuck off. I've never seen you eat, Brian. So weird. Mm. Shakira, could I have a little pepper? Fuck off. <laughs> First 10k run of the season tomorrow, so I need the protein. Shakira stripped you off, mate. That is egg. Dominic says. Oh, here we go. Pray silence for what Dominic says. Dominic says food is key to focus, so I need it. And by the way, Joe, egg is protein. Right. And a pen is a house, is it? Dominic says I can go for my PB tomorrow. Hello, everyone. My name's Brian. I used to listen to my friends, but now I'm too busy jog-dogging with Dominic. Honestly, mate, I think you'd finger a swan if he asked you to. Sorry, <laughs> I just have... <laughs> finger a swan. <laughs> oh. I'm going to find him inspirational. Three cider quizzes on the bench you've missed. You know I can't win with Jo. She thinks Abba is a person. Oh, I can't go either. I'm moving house. Since when? Mr. Kane will kick me out for not paying rent. No biggie. I've already got another place sorted. <sighs> well, if I've lost you two, I truly have nothing left in the world to lose. There's a mouthful left in that, Shakira. Bob! Dan, you're being absurd. Did you say Bob? <laughs> Tim, I'm giving you a lion tomorrow. Let's meet at 5.35. <laughs> That's actually very good. <laughs> that is very good. Very good. That is um, very funny. Right, fine. I won't go to side the quiz either. I'll get an early night and I'll um, come to your running club with you tomorrow morning. I want to know if she said Bob, because if she did, who's Bob? I need to know. I don't think running club is for you, Dan. Shorts? What do you want with shorts? I'm making a sports-themed quilt. Ooh, lovely. Obviously not. I'm joining Brian's running club. <laughs> Don't be silly. Fuck off, I am. <laughs> you can't go running, you silly boy. Not with your big fat tummy and twiglet legs. All right. Well, it's your ripped, aren't you, Jessica Ennis? I thought a baby elephant had broken in last week when you wore that sleeveless top. You have got some shorts, Daniel, but they're from when you were at school. You can't go running in tight shorts. It gives you a rash. You know it does. Listen, when I want advice about pacing myself during the buffing of worthless china tat, I'll come to you. Until then, get my shorts. What's the fuss? Daniel's going running. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I do know that that's uh, Rick Mayall from uh, Bottom. Uh, you know, I always get a lot of comments whenever I do man down reactions. Like, do you know that's him? Yes. Yes, I'm aware. Uh, for those of you who, uh, who don't know, uh, bottom reactions, I, I, I've done them. I can't get them up on YouTube though, but they are on Patreon. If you, if you guys feel inclined to check it out. So anyway, stop laughing. <laughs> Are you getting up? 5 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing at him for having a run. That ain't gonna motivate him. Or maybe it will, I don't know. Wakey wakey, Daniel. Uh -oh. Nice and shine. Running time. <laughs> cool. What the fuck 
are you doing? You said you wanted to be woken up early. What time is it? 2.30. I've only been asleep for an hour. Why are you waking me up now? Thought you might not have to stretch. At five! That's messed up. That's messed up. No wonder he's so weird. He's got him as a dad. <laughs> Who's not only as weird as him, but an abuser. Uh, I know it's a television show, folks. It's all in the name of love and humor and all that. I know. Nice under the nut shot. Oh, God. <laughs> you look dreadful. And why are you wearing slippers? Better sort yourself out before Dominic gets here. You're on the tight ship. I'm shagged already, mate. I bet he slept last night. Shit. He's here. Behave. <laughs> Team! Hi, Dominic. Hi, Dominic. Hi, Dominic. Hi, Dominic. Hope you lot are ready for a <laughs> 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 Dominic looks crazy, too. Oh, this is such a nutty show. Hey. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. Beef. Play it up. It's a crisp morning. Puts me in mind of Soul 88. All right, here's how I read it. We head up Hammer Hill, then get a rage on through the woods. And I do mean rage. I can't have any half measures. Watch. Hot tea. Hot tea! Me! Yes, come on! Is that the way we like it? What the fuck was that about? I'm trying to listen. Remember, you are in control. It all starts with the mind. Goodness, yes. Commitment. Gosh! Beef! What's so special about him? All he's done so far is pour tea on the floor. Big deal. <laughs> yeah, and I, I'm wondering what the hell that is, too. Is uh, they were playing like some kind of thing? Is he supposed to be like a Native American? I don't, I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. Come to the staff room, mate. Shaky O'Donnell's covered in this stuff. Dan, please. I just don't see what all the fuss is about. He just seems that. Oh, oh my God! Dan, that's the biggest ass I've ever seen. What was his sport, mate? It wasn't fucking hurdles, was it? It's not that big. Brian. He looks like a centaur. No, this is precisely why I didn't want you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is this. Uh, I, I'm not even halfway through the episode. I'm dying. This might be the best man down episode I've seen so far. Coming to running club. This is my sanctuary. It's huge. We can make money out of this. All we need is a caravan. Shit, he's coming up. I swear, if you mention his ass, I will never speak to you again. Do you understand? Good one, men. Hey, new member alert. Friend of yours, Ben? It's Brian. Hi, Brian. Hello. No, I'm Brian. This is Dan. Dan, Ben, Brian. Who gives a fuck? Great to have another pain addict on board. Glad to see you made a start on the cranberry. In Seoul, we drank so much of this, we pissed crimson. Wow. He just flicked the end of my penis. <laughs> Never miss. <laughs> come on, guys, lunge it! That ass is so ripe, it's gonna come off the vine, Brian. What's that? Looking forward to the burn today, Dominic? Always. <laughs> Where'd you get your jogging bottoms, Dom? I have to order them online. It's hard to find the right fit. I bet it fucking is. Dominic, uh, <laughs> just to let you know, I've uh, got this old hamstring injury. I think it's playing up again. What? Oh my god, up. dude. It looks like those, I mean, I wouldn't stop looking at it either, you know why? It looks like those uh, fake uh, implants that <coughs> certain uh, female models on Instagram use that uh, Queen Boomer rants about. <laughs> if if you saw Queen Boomer in it, it a rant about you know fake uh, glutes, it, it's it's a sight to behold. It really is. Because the level of, like, she doesn't... I don't get it either, but she takes it to a whole new level. Like, you guys don't know. I, I don't know how many rants you guys have seen Queen Boomer do, but she has some really good ones. And one and when she rants about fake butts, it, it's, it's one of the funniest things to ever see in your lifetime. 
Maybe I'll, I'll try to get her to rant about fake asses one day. How about that? I've got a hamstring injury. I think it's... Um... No. You haven't. Okay. Good. Thank you. See you on the road, yeah? It's mental here. I thought we were just going jogging, mate. Already I've discovered this redneck turn. I've seen you hypnotised by a human baboon. I love running club. I'm going to do everything that big-ass man says. Look, it's not that big, <laughs> OK? Stop ruining running club. It's pretty big, Brian. Brian! 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 Christ, how much of that cranberry juice have you drunk? It's really good for you. You heard, Dom. Doesn't mean you're supposed to drink it all day. Now, shut up. I'm trying to monitor my heart rate. If I drink enough of that, I might get a big magic ass. He hasn't got a big magic ass, you <laughs> idiot. I saw what he did, Brian. He cured your leg with his ass. He's like a big bum Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so stupid. Oh. Oh, I love stupid humor, man. His, <laughs> it's a big, it's magical. Uh, it's fake. It's fake is what it is. You're getting hypnotized by a big old fake ass. Okay, he has a method. I don't know what it is. I haven't been invited for the one-to-one -one yet. <gasps> What's the one-to-one? -one? Dominic. Dominic's secret is so powerful, he can only tell one man at a time. Sounds incredible. I totally understand why you're in love with him. I'm not in love with him. You are. I am. I don't have time for this. I'm going for my PB. And Julia's expecting me back to do the big shop. Brian? Brian? Oh, my God. <laughs> what is this? Go for a run. Oh, fuck. Oh, I wish I knew you were coming round. It's not quite ready yet. It's still a bit of a pigsty. Joe? Yes? Is your new house a tent by the road? Yes! Wicked. No, not wicked. It is weird, mate. Says the cranberry guzzling fuckwit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I really like Brian, cos he's like... <coughs> uh, uh... A, a sane but impatient man dealing with two numbskulls. I'm I'm really liking Brian. I like his stash too. It looks like it's like uh, you know, a lot of a lot of people wear stashes like with just the stash. Can't really pull it off. Brian does it. I think Brian does it pretty well. Listen, I didn't have a house. Now I have a house. Winner. It's a tent, you mad bitch. <laughs> we should ask Dom what to do about this. Dom would know what to do about this. No, no, we shouldn't. Dom must never see this. Hey, guys. Oh, fuck. Hi, Dom. Taking five? Just checking my pulse rate. What's with the tent? Hello. I live here. Ah, a jippo. Good luck to you. Live and let live. I don't really know her. <laughs> I've had five cartons of cranberry juice, Dom. Why? So I can piss crimson like they did in Soul 88. Well, all right, then. <coughs> oh! He got the tip again! Don't aim for where the dick is. Aim <gasps> for where the dick is gonna be. What does that mean? I think it was... Dom, I think I've shaved five seconds off my PB. You can't beat the crimson piss, Dan. Keep it up. Dom, with the hamstrings holding up, thanks. Glad to hear it, Ben! It's... Oh, dude, I... Uh... Okay, so now we're halfway through. I'm sorry for pausing it so much, but I'm really enjoying this episode so much. And I love how dumb the characters are. It's it's making me feel better about my own dumbass. You know what I mean? Brian! He seems really nice. He is. We should invite him to the tent for drinks. Joe, you can't live in a fucking tent. How are you going to eat? How are you going to eat? I'll forage. She'll forage? This is insane. Oh my God. You have already ruined running club, and you... Dominic now thinks I hang out with the big one from Bananarama. Brian, why 
are you so stressed? And how have I ruined running club? I have totally embraced that big butt genius's way of life. Will you stop going on about his ass? Someone's got himself into a tiz. Yes. <gasps> Here, I've popped a cranberry. If you just stay away, you <laughs> Brian's had enough. Yo, Brian, flip the fuck out, dude. Yo, I'd put. Oh, I feel you, Brian. I'd, I'd, I'd lose my. I'd lose my cool with these guys too. I don't know if I'd spray juice in their face. That's kind of mean, but uh... oh my god, I feel for them. These these two muppets. Hey, wait, don't stop! He's mine! He's mine! Oh god! It's juice me, Ryan. Why? Ugh. Uh -oh. What are you done? What happened? Get juiced? Felt like you were getting somewhere. I messed up, Dom. I always do. We'll see about that. Get in. We're going to my place. Uh oh. I want to what? That sounded like more than an invitation. What is she eating? <laughs> Guys out there. The Lord. Hello. Please don't be nervous. I'm not a homosexual. <laughs> I used to be like you. Tall. A directionless loser. A fat dropout. A pointy dicked, saggy jowled tostic. A... All right, mate. Let me guess. <laughs> a woman, right? A woman you thought was there forever just. Upped and left you. Out of the blue. <laughs> this show is so... Oh, it's so goofy. I love it. I love it. Oh. This is one heck of an episode here. Gone. Just like that. And you don't know why? Yes. God, you are magic. I'm not magic, my pot-bellied friend. I've just harnessed something. Something that could change your life. I can help you. I can give you what you need. But first, I have to know that you want it enough. I don't know what it is that I need. You know what it is. I honestly don't know what it is. Ultimate control. <gasps> you think I don't know about my ass? Hmm? You think I don't know what people say? You think I haven't heard the calls? Silver back butt, bubble bum, big icing sugar dusted peach, the <laughs> cock and bald Nicki Minaj. I, this show probably ain't for everyone, but I'm loving it. I'm sorry. This is, I got it. This episode specifically, I think I might have to get, uh, if I can, cause she's so busy, um, and been so busy lately and will continue to be busy. But, uh, Queen Boomer, I got to get her to watch this episode. Cause I know from just all the things that I was laughing at, some of the parts she would have laughed even harder. So maybe I, I, Gotta go when I do the next man down episode. I just gotta go back and rewatch this one with her because she would really appreciate this goofy ass episode. It is big, of course. I know uh, none of these ornaments are more than a week old. Every shit cost me 300 pounds, but I don't care. And you know why? Because I have control, Dan. It's not about looking at my behind. It's about looking within. Teach me. 
Teach me, you massive ass guru. You're not foraging, you're stealing! Oh, this crazy, crazy woman. By the way, I haven't fit, like, you know, I haven't figured it out because I'm such a Muppet, but are they brother and sister? Or are they just good friends? Or is it, you know, are they cousins or something? What's the relation between her and uh, Greg Davies' character? I, I'm... It's still going over my head. And it's... Uh, right now it's bothering me. Because they're like, you know... They seem like brother and sister, but it's like... I don't think it was ever really stated. And there was that one episode where... <coughs> Greg Davies was with his family, and... She didn't really seem like she was a part of the family. So, I don't know, man. Somebody please explain it to me. Please. center ourselves with the trigger. Look at me, Dad. When I pull the trigger finger, I have taught myself that the wild horses of my mind are tamed. Do you believe it? Yes! Then express it! Kill me with your ass! I feel the rush of control coursing through my veins, Daniel. I don't understand, Tom. Do you want to see <gasps> the power of control? Yes! Then tell me your pin number and pull your shorts down! What? Do it! What? One nine six eight. Beef! Beef! Oh my God! I've been arrested. Clearly, Joe. Foraging is mental. Joe. They told me what you did. Stealing a frozen chicken from a shop can never be classified as a forage. It's a modern forage. It's not a modern forage, Joe. You stole. Don't wind me up. Just let me do the talking. Well, well. Oh, God. You. Yes, it is. It's amazing the levels of responsibility we're given, isn't it? Can I remind this you crazy it was my guy. friend who insulted you? I don't know what you're talking about. Now, you. Chicken theft, very serious. I was foraging. I said, leave it to me. Shut up. Look, mate, she's a nutter. Let her go. Ryan, I'm not a nutter. I was hungry. Why are you so angry? Came as quickly as I could. What's happened? Forage nightmare, Dan. Oh, hello, officer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I might have known. Yeah, he hates this guy, man. <laughs> oh, God. I'm hungry. Why are you so angry? Came as quickly as I could. What's happened? Forage nightmare, Dan. Oh, hello, officer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might have known you'd be involved in this little debacle. Now let's process this in theft. Theft? Joe stole a frozen chicken from the supermarket. OK. I'll handle this. <clears throat> I don't think we need to pursue this anymore, do we, officer? I beg your pardon. I think you'll find a crime has been committed. Oh. Hey, hey come on. Oh. Come on. Oh. Oh. I do that to Queen Boomer sometimes. She really hates that. Queen, I hope you're watching, because tonight you're getting some of this. What's your favorite memory? Oh, mm. when they gave me the big special hat with a badge. Yeah, hat. Mm. Yeah. Like a proper grown-up policeman. Mm. A big boy. Mm, yeah, a big boy. Oh. We don't need to keep this silly girl, officer. Oh. Let her go, yeah. Okay. You can get your things. But 
Don't be involved in anything so silly again, okay? Take your trousers down. Tell me your pin number. Six zero seven nine. Into the south. Yeah. This show just took a really <coughs> wacky, wacky turn. There's no way that any would this work. Brian is the only sane character in this show. And he's... I think that's what the premise of this show is... is was from the get-go, now that I think of it. Brian is the only sane character in this... In this nutty world that this show is set in. He's the only sane one. I don't know if his... If Greg Davies' ex-girlfriend in this show is... Sane or his uh, teacher boss lady is sane. Uh, maybe they're semi-sane. But Brian seems like the only sane one. And he's becoming insane because of all the madness of the characters around him. That's what I think this show is about. I could always be wrong, though. I usually am. Oh, my God. You saw Dominic? Yeah. He gave you the one-to-one? -one. Yes. He was right. I'm gonna be fine. You got the one to one. I can't fucking believe it. Brian, calm down. Oh, fuck this and fuck you! Weird. You're Very one to talk. Weird. You're one to talk. Are you still coming back to mine for the housewoman? I've, uh. Still got a potato. I'd love to, Joe. I'm gonna get my life back on track. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Are you alright? I'm much more than alright. <laughs> what? Naomi, we're gonna be okay. Dan. Sorry, I'm. I mean, I'm cured. Dan. I mean, it's gonna take me a long time to harness the power of the control, but I think I. I think I'm different. Dan. Sorry, I'm talking. I'll stop. Because I can stop whenever I like. And then I can start. And then I can stop again. I'm seeing someone. Knew that was coming. What? I've been... I'm seeing someone. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, I think I'm going to have a heart attack. Oh. Oh my god. It was just a fart. I have had an awful lot of cranberry. <laughs> and I'm very tired. <sighs> oh my god. Oh, now his dad's gonna mess with him again. Hello, darling. <sighs> They're in my bed again. The man is at his most vulnerable in his bed, Daniel. This is where you need a friend. You fucking nutter. You're upset. What happened? I explosively shot a cranberry in front of my ex. Oh, sweet. Okay. Get a good night's sleep. It'll all seem better in the morning. Spoons? 
Yep. <clears throat> oh no. Ugh. I will never get tired of that song. <clears throat> no matter how many times it's played. Wow. Uh <laughs> Wow, I think that was one of my favorite episodes of anything of all time. I cannot believe how funny that was. Uh A lot of it's stupid humor, but I enjoy that. Um but just I I really feel I think Brian's my favorite character in the show cuz he's like the, losing his mind to the point where he's going to become like them in a few more episodes because he's just he's just had enough he's over it and i feel for him but uh, i also want to see more of greg davies in the classroom with the kids i think those scenes are the best just because the kid the kids make it so funny they really do they're they're all adorable and they make the scene so much uh wackier and funnier and it's a lot of fun to see that the uh, guru guy. I hope he. I hope he comes back. <laughs> At first, I was like, "What's?" <laughs> I don't know if I like this dude, but he adds a lot to the show. He and he added a whole lot to the episode. That's for sure. So this was this was an excellent episode, and I'm really glad uh, I saw it. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as well, and uh, enjoyed my constant pausing. I know some people are really annoyed by it, but you know. If if I don't pause it, then I get just as many comments saying you're missing the joke when you're talking. So, you know, it is what it is. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Like, subscribe, do whatever you Muppets want. And I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos. Peace out.